Hello, I'm Anita Coleman. The theme for this year, 2021's Black History Month, is the African-American family in all its diversity. To celebrate Black History Month, the librarians and I are pleased to share readings of poems by Lucille Clifton. Lucille Clifton was born in 1936 and died on February 13, 2010. She studied at Howard University before transferring to State University of New York, Fredonia, near her hometown of Buffalo, New York. She was discovered as a poet by Langston Hughes. Hughes, in 1970, published Clifton's poetry in his highly influential anthology, The Poetry of the Negro. And Lucille went on to become a prolific and widely respected poet, winner of many prizes, and twice a Pulitzer Prize finalist. Her poems emphasize endurance and strength through adversity, focusing particularly on African-American experience and family life. I'm Anita Coleman, and in honor of Black History Month, I am going to be reading the poem, Won't You Celebrate With Me by Lucille Clifton, one of my favorite poets. Won't you celebrate with me what I have shaped into a kind of life? I had no model. Born in Babylon, both non-white and woman, what did I see to be except myself? I made it up here on this bridge between starshine and clay, my one hand holding tight my other hand. Come celebrate with me that every day something has tried to kill me and has failed. Hello, I am Bobby Bills, and I am going to be reading the poem, Let There Be New Flowering, originally published in Good Woman, Poems and a Memoir, 1969 to 1980 by Lucille Clifton. Let there be new flowering. In the fields, let the fields turn mellow for the men. Let the men keep tender. Through the time, let the time be rested from the war. Let love be at the end. Hello, I'm Jill Sherman, and I will be reading Lucille Clifton's poem, What the Grass Knew. After some days toward evening, he stood under a brackish sky, trembling and blaming creation. But the grass knew what is built and finally built for others. The firmament is not enough. That tiger was coming and partridge and well, and even the raucous voices would not satisfy. He, walking in the cool of the garden, lonely as light, realized he must feed his own hunger or die. Adam, he nodded, Adam, while the understanding grass prepared itself for Eve. <clears throat> I'm Burton and I'll be reading Blessing the Boats by Lucille Clifton. Published in Blessing the Boats, New and Selected Poems, 1988 to 2000. May the tide that is entering even now, the lip of our understanding, carry you out beyond the face of fear. May you kiss the wind, then turn from it, certain that it will love your back. May you open your eyes to water, water waving forever. And may you, in your innocence, sail through this to that. Thank you. <clears throat> 